Now, why does it wait for such a long period of time before it detonates? Because some of these malware will lie dormant for more than 19 days. In fact, there is an average of uh, some 40 days or something that, uh, you know, all the different malware waiting. And this is the anatomy of a modern malware. They will wait because every critical application usually has a backup system and a disaster recovery system, right? Now think about it. You're taking a backup every day. And these are immutable backups, immutable isolated backups. So you think that since one backup is isolated from the next backup, in case if something gets infected in this backup, I will always fall back on the next backup or the previous backup. But it doesn't work like that. What these malware will do is they will seed themselves into your environment and then wait. So now you're taking a backup, that backup is infected. Next day you take another backup, that backup is also infected. You take another backup, it's also infected. And you have no idea because it's not really started acting up. You know, it's not surfaced yet. It'll quietly sit around waiting. Like that, for three months, all the backups have been infected or seeded with the malware. Now it surfaces, right? It detonates. It basically takes control of your data and sends, you, sends a message to you saying, I have control of your data. If you don't give me XYZ number of dollars, I will destroy your data. So what do you do? You decide you want to go back, right? So you, yesterday's backup. You'll go to the yesterday's backup, bring it back online, um, you know, revive all your environments from yesterday's backup that backup is also infected with that seed. So it will detonate from there. You go back one more day, one more day, one more week, one more week. But you can't keep going back because after a certain point of time, you've lost so much data that recovering from a three month old backup won't make sense.